Uh, that is a continuation of, uh, yeah. My phone just, somebody called me. I'm very sorry. There's a continuation of it. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. I just want to go into the topic today. Um, you know, everybody, people like to be honored. People like honor. Men like to be, you know, to be, um, uh, uh, is it um, awarded for their, the result of what they have done? Well, you know, they want to be awarded. They want to be acknowledged for what they have accomplished. That is, a, you know, that is a word. But there is an, uh, an honor which is when it bestowed upon you, that one is greater than any honor any man can give you. There is an honor when you, when God, it's only God, the divine honor God who gives. That honor, no man. It's an honor that comes through, it's the, through the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. This honor is given. Nothing we can accomplish on our own. It's just the grace, pure grace of the Lord. But still, God is still honor those who are faithful in his vineyard. God is still honor because the character of God is faithfulness. So when somebody is faithful in that which God has given to that person, God has handed over. The, the Lord Jesus has given that over to that person to carry out. If you're faithful, God honors. The Lord Jesus I honors through his son. That's an honor the Lord bestows. So this is my topic. And still on the topic of, um, of uh, uh, God, Jesus came to give us life and that life more abundantly. And the Lord, this is a season of honor. There, it's a season God wants to reward. Those his servants who have been faithful, those who have been faithful in the little has, um, he, has, uh, given, he has handed over to them to carry out a task. It doesn't matter how little it is, but as, as long as what God honors is obedient, obedient also is faithfulness. Because God is faithful, his nature, the character of God is faithfulness. He's saying he's faithful. So this is a season God wants to honor those who have been faithful. God himself wants to honor we don't deserve the honor because it's all from him. It's all he's, uh, he's doing. He gave the grace. He gave the power. Everything comes from him still. He wants to honor. What a wonderful God we serve. So today, I want to start uh, with um, John, the Gospel of John chapter 12, verse eight, from 24 to 26. But my emphasis will be on the 26. Okay, let's continue. Let's uh, start. It says, John chapter 12, verse 24 to 26. He said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. He that loveth his life shall lose it. And he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. Um, and verse 25, and verse 26, that's my emphasis. If any man serve me, that's the Lord Jesus. It's Lord Jesus speaking. He said, if any man serve me, let him follow me. And where I am, there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him with my father, honor. If any man serve me, him with the father, honor. It's not the, the God, the father will honor such one that serves the Lord Jesus Christ. So the reward is to those who have been faithfully following the Lord Jesus Christ. You know? And serving him faithfully. Sometimes in secret, nobody knows what we've been doing. It's only you and the Lord knows. And this is a season the Lord have come to proclaim to you. This is a season the Lord wants to reward you for that. He wants to honor you. Whichever way he wants to honor you, I don't know. But he asked me to say this, to teach this at this season. He wants to honor those who have been faithful in his vineyard. Those who have been faithfully serving him. He wants to honor their faithfulness for being faithful, following his son faithfully and serving him. This is the time the God, the Father, wants to, you know, reward to honor such ones in Jesus' name. That is my topic today. The God, the Father, wants to honor. God, the Father, honors those who have been, who have been following and serving his son. Now is the time God, God is, is, uh, is uh, honoring those who have been following and serving his son. Uh, now let's continue in this topic. You know that is why too uh, many topics. Let's go to Galatian chapter. Uh, Galatian or oh, let me say Galatian chapter. No, let's go to Matthew, the Gospel of Matthew chapter, uh, chapter, chapter twenty four, chapter twenty four from forty five to forty seven, the Gospel of Matthew twenty four, twenty four from forty five to forty seven. Here it says. He says here, the gospel of Matthew 24, 40, 45 to, 40, to 47. So he says here, who then is a faithful and wise servant? When his Lord had made ruler 
over his household to give him meat in due season. Blessed is that servant when his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Verily, very, verily, I say unto you that he shall make him ruler over all his words, all his goods. He shall make the, that faith, that servant who have been faithful, doing that with the Lord, with his, uh, his master commanded him to do, doing that whether the, the master is there or not. That servant continued in that which was uh, handed over to him or her. The person was faithful to it. Whether there was somebody there monitoring or not, no. The person was faithful to that. He said, We'll make that person ruler over what? Over, he will make that person rule, ruler over all, all his goods. Not one, all his goods. Because that's a faithful servant. Okay, let's continue again in this, uh, on, this, uh, on this one. Let's go to Revelation, the, gospel, uh, the, the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 7 to 13. The book of Revelation chapter uh, chapter seven chapter three verse seven to 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 thirteen. Uh, Revelation chapter three verse verse seven to thirteen. This is about the churches, the churches that the Lord Jesus Christ visited and letters we are giving to them. Um, that's Revelation chapter three verse seven to thirteen. I continue. That is the church today. There is a letter to the church in Philadelphia. In Philadelphia. The angel, that is the letter. And what happened? So it says here, to the angel of the church in Philadelphia, write, this thing saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that had the key of David, he that openeth no man shut it, and shut it no man open it. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door. This reward is about reward on what works, on the service rendered to the Lord. Is it a church? Is it a person? Is it a family? Is it an organization who have been faithful to, to that which the Holy Spirit, that was born of the Holy Spirit? This is a season of a what? Reward. It's not the, God is not rewarding things. The foundation that was started out of envy, out of jealousy, out of competition, out of uh, oh, out of flesh. No. This the the word God is issued at that moment are the things that were handed out by the by the, the Lord Jesus Christ Himself by His Holy Spirit that was born of the Spirit, because it's only anything that born of the Spirit can please God. It, it, it's about you know glorifying God through that. It's anything settled from flesh will not glorify God. So if the foundation of whatever you're you're doing is started by the Holy Spirit, this is the time of the God want to reward your faithfulness, your service. In his kingdom, your service to him, because the Lord, as a result of your faithfulness, the Lord has been glorified. Okay, let's continue. He said, I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door. No man can shut, no man can shut it. For thou has a little strength and has kept my word and has not uh, denied my name. He said they had a little strength and kept the word of God, the word of the Lord Jesus Christ, had not denied his name. So for them having a little strength, there was a lot of persecution. There was a lot of attack. They had opportunity to what? Giving up, but they refused. They continued in that which was given to them. They had, a, they, they had an option and said, chickening out and said, no, enough. I've had enough. No, they continued. They kept the word that was handed over to them. They kept the word and then, and they did not deny the name of the Lord. Despite all the opposition, despite all the hardship, des, despite all the shame, the ridicule, the reproach, they kept on. They held on to the word that was handed over to them. They held on to the, to, to, uh, to the name of the Lord. Even though it was very difficult, people are giving up and telling you, ah, why hold on? Why don't you give up? Like Job, the wife of Job told, told him, he said, why don't you cause the God, this God and die? Because Job was in reproach, terrible one, not knowing that God wants to use him to show, make a showcase his faithfulness to God. He's showcasing to Satan that Job can never deny him. And his wife was there encouraging her, her husband to deny God. Thank God such a strong, a very faithful husband. He said, no, woman, thou are foolish. You're speaking a foolish, you talk like a foolish woman. This is the, like this church. The ridicule, the, the persecution, they had a little strength, but they kept to the word that was handed over to them. They, they kept to the, to the word, the little strength they had, they said, no, they will not give up. 
they held on to the word of God and did not deny his name and the Lord was glorified as a result. Now is the season of uh, jubilation. Now is the season of God or recompense. It's a season God wants to reward you because you follow the Lord wholeheartedly, faithfully. You served him faithfully. You're, going, you're still going to serve him, but for now, you followed him. You served him. He said, where he is, is where you're going to be. It, this is the time his father, the father of the Lord Jesus Christ, wants to honor you. So, let's continue. He said, behold, verse, uh, verse 9, Revelation chapter 3, verse 9. He said, behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews. He said, those are there is a synagogue within that place. There was a kind of a gang up in that place against you. Still, you held on to the word of God. You did not deny the name of the Lord. They, have, they, they say, that, oh, they, uh, you cannot be holier. You cannot finish this. How could you? There was a gang up. That was a heavy persecution within. But you held on to this church. You held on to that, which was handed over to them. He said here, the Lord said he will make them. He make them. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and they are not. But do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. And to know that I have loved thee. The reward, the one part of the reward is God will make them to come and bow. To come before your feet, to bow. Not to you, but because of the name of the Lord they have kept faithfully. Because of the word, the, 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 the is it the, 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 the word, the, the, the call, the mission the Lord has commissioned you to carry out. You held on to it for that. Because it was born of the Spirit of God, they will come bowing to it. Not because of you, but to the Lord. Because we are faithful. Okay, now let's continue. He said, before they will come and worship before their feet, and to know that I have loved thee. That that you started did not start up because everybody doing it. No, you started it because the Holy Spirit was born of the Holy Spirit. It, was, it proceeded out of the mouth of the Lord. And then verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, why, why, what are the reasons why God wants to honor you? Because you have kept the word of his patience. You were tried. He said you have kept the word of his patience. He said I will keep thee from the hour of temptation. You will be preserved from the hour of temptation. We shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast that no man take that crown take that crown. So here the Lord is said, because you have kept the word of his patience, you were tried. The Lord wanted to try your patience, your faithfulness. If you are able, when persecution comes, if you are able to hold on to that which he has given, which he has commissioned you to carry out. He said for that because you have kept the word of his patience, when tribulation, when trial comes, you will be preserved. For this church, it was to say when temptation will come upon the whole earth, they will be preserved. They will be saying, you preserve them. They will not be tried because they've gone through their own trials. But on your own side, I don't know how. Like I said, I don't know how the Lord is going to bless you. I don't know how the Lord is going to honor you. But I know the Lord told me to come out to tell anyone that will listen, anyone that will come across this video that your faithfulness has been remembered. The Lord wants to bless. The Lord wants to, the Lord wants to honor your faithfulness for holding on to that which has we handed over to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Um, now, I want us to go to uh, Galatians chapter, Galatians chapter, uh, Galatians chapter, um, chapter 6, Galatians chapter 6, or let me leave Galatians chapter 6, Let's, let me go to uh, Philippians chapter 2. Philippians ch chapter 2 verse um, Philippians chapter 2 verse um, um, let me say from verse, nine, from verse 5 from verse 5 to 11 it says here let this man be in you which was also in Christ Jesus who being in the form of God thought it not robbery to be equal with God but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in, a fas in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, 
even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So Jesus was in his faithfulness. He was faithful to the end. He died. He was obedient even to the cross, to the death of the cross. He took the shame because the word sent him here. The father sent him here for a purpose, the father. God, the father sent him. He held on to that word. The message was sent to it. Even to the death on the cross. And as a result, he faithfulness, his father exalted him. God exalts faithfulness. God honors faithfulness. Jesus, our forerunner, our example, he went through the same route. And he's telling you now, since you've been faithful, God is one who rewards the rewarder of those who diligently seek him. God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. He rewarded his son for his faithfulness. That is here in Hebrew chapter, Hebrews, uh, the uh, book of Hebrews chapter 12, 12 verse 1 and 2. He said, we are foreseeing we are compassed about to take so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin we do it so easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. You know, the race, in order to fulfill the race that is set before us, is patience. Patience, patience is what? Faithfulness, patience. He says here, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be weary and faint in your minds. Ye have not resisted unto blood, striving against sin. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you, as unto children, my son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuke of him. For whom the Lord loveth, he, chasten, he chasteneth and, so, so and scourgeth every son whom he loveth. So all the chastening, all the uh, uh, scourging and everything went through. It was for the trial of the patience of your faith. So you, you kept all the persecution, all the gang up, everything you went through was for a reason. It was to try your faith. To see if you still follow the Lord. If you faithfully follow the Lord. If you faithfully follow and serve him and stay in that, in service to that which you called you to. Now, he said those who follow him, who follow him, let them serve him. Those who serve him, they should follow him. Those who follow him, he said the father, wherever he is will be. The father too will honor you. The father honored the son because he was faithful, obedient to death. You have been faithful. It's all by the grace of God, but still God wants to honor God wants to honor you. God wants to, in whichever way, I don't know. But since you've been faithful, the Lord, this is a season of more uh, uh, abundance. Abundance of, of, abundance of, I don't know. Is it anointing? Is it blessings, material blessings? Is it increase? I don't know whichever way. But I know this is a season of blessings in Jesus' name. It's a season of abundance. The God, the Father, has purposed and said, this is a season to those who have been faithful, a season to make them a steward of, of, uh, of uh, is it his glory, of his, uh, of his uh, uh, mystery, of, I don't know whichever, of financial, I don't know whichever, way, but I know this is a season of abundance to those who have been faithful in the vineyard of the Lord. Not to those who have been, who have been, you know, very crafty, very, you know, with a, a very crafty, with an evil heart, scheming with an, uh, no, 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 no. God wants to honor those who have been faithful, genuinely faithful. Who started that which you called them into? Who have been faithful despite all the positions? I, let me pray for you. In case you are starting something, the Lord according to something, starting something, I pray. I pray for the strength of uh, endurance in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that you receive the strength of endurance, the strength of patience, the strength to hold on. Even when the wind is so blowing so hard and, and the, the going is so hard, you say, oh, I can't make it. I pray for the strength of a strength, a strength and endurance to hold on to that with the Lord according to in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. 
For those who are about to give up, I pray that as you hear this word, let them partition. You know, sometimes I teach here, I come here. It doesn't matter, maybe I'm not praying the JJ9. No, sorry, I'm speaking in German. It's about the as I'm speaking, there are a speaking spirit and speaking life. This is what the Lord told me. When I come to preach, when I'm speaking, people healing will be taking place. The people will be, you know, conviction will be taking place. Things will be, and there are things happening in the spirit of those who come with a sincere heart. That is what the Lord told me. So as I'm speaking, I'm speaking by the Spirit of God. I'm speaking life. As you listen, I pray that the mercy, by the mercies of God, the Spirit of the living God, the Spirit that is life, I'm speaking, it's not my word, what I'm speaking is the word of the Lord. Let him minister in your body, soul, and spirit. Let him minister endurance and patience in the mighty name of Jesus. Faithfulness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you're sick, I speak healing into your bone marrow. I speak healing into your bone marrow. I speak healing into your blood in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The one who has called you, he is faithful. He will accomplish and fulfill that which he, called, which he has called you to. Only hold on to that. Be faithful. Be faithful. In Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ bless you. The Lord keep you standing by his mighty power and cause his face to shine upon you. Please, I want you to share this video so let as many people as possible be blessed through this video. In Jesus' name. The Lord bless you. See you next time. Yeah. Bye.